WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this Friday, the last day of the week. And we're looking at this uh, 25th of February session. The Dow's at 432 after a fantastic turnaround yesterday, 32,227. Yeah, 32,272. We are now a thousand, over 1,400 points higher than that. Uh, that is nice. This is the leg that you need to see after Chapman Wave Roman, Green Roman Candle. Uh, I spent a little time on that in my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour, a few minutes ago. But basically, you want to see, at least within the next session or two, a good close above, and that should be two sessions above the high of the day that made this this long uh, candle right here. So we're looking at the same thing in the S&P in terms of uh, upside move. Good, a good, good session so far, up 45 and 43, 34. Was stalling a little bit before, but now it's starting to go on energy. And that's important. Look at the QQQ, NDX 100. This is going to be our little benchmark just to watch because sustainability on a move now in the general market really needs to see the NASDAQ 100, the Invesco QQQ Trust Series, not only move higher, but close towards the high of the day and survive a Sunday, whatever happens on Sunday night geopolitically, and then go into Monday morning strong. We need to see that. I need to see that also for the S&P monthly candle. And we'll talk about that again on Monday. I did in my show. Looking at the IWM, that's a nice a nice move to the upside. Uh, it's going to take a lot more. It's at 199.50. needs 203.50 to really say, I'm getting going to the upside. Gold has had a very sharp pullback. It's down 34 points at uh, 18.91, uh, making a peak D in the Chapman Way, both daily and perhaps weekly. And the pullback in gold, the pullback in the volatility index, this is what you need to see when you make a coincidence low at the bottom, uh, as we did yesterday. It's a low, not the low. And we'll watch this closely, but a sharp pullback in the VIX index at 28.25. If we are fortunate enough to see buying continue instead of sell off into the close today with worries of holding positions over the weekend, it'll be great if the VIX is actually in the 27s. But if it starts to bounce towards the 30.50, 31 area, be careful. Uh, TLT, nothing to see here. It just cannot get any traction. So that means yields are remaining quite high. I don't know why yields should worry about the market because the, the, the economic activity is still pretty good. You'd expect yields to go up. And if you're looking at crude oil, crude oil is uh, down 85 cents at 91.96, still up towards the highs. Oil is something you've got to keep your eye on next week. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you for an early present. Great program. Larry comes up. Then think of Swim. Then Steve Rhodes, Dave White, and Tom O'Brien wraps it up. And of course, Mr. Goldie, Tom O'Brien. Have a wonderful weekend. See you all on Monday.